Uh, All right, we're down at Sir Robert L. Borden School at a day called Eye Care, and uh, who do we have here? Maurice. Maurice, uh, what are you doing at the school here? And you got a fine helper here, uh, Alicia, helping you out. What are you doing here? Uh, basically, just here to uh, work with the kids, um, working with the t cops, building the bridges that right now are falling down that we're trying to build them back up. Communication between cops and the youth in the schools right now, that's the only way we're going to get things rolling back on track. And positive message to the kids, letting them right now, um, letting them know um, internet safety. Um, the things that they do at home will affect them in the wrong run and stuff like that. So that's now what we're here to do. Oh, uh, you worked in a program with the Toronto Police. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, I've worked with the Youth and Policing Project with basically uh, it's been running for the past four years um, with giving youth in the priority neighborhoods, uh, different neighborhoods, uh, the opportunity to work with the cops, um, have a job, see what it's really like behind the scenes, um, working in the stations, uh, different locations throughout the city. Um, and I'm also with the Chief Youth Advisory of the Toronto Police Service, which uh, helps make the decisions for youth, uh, any youth decisions, uh, we help and promote it. Now what were you, tell what were you telling uh, the Toronto Police Chief about uh, having officers in the schools? Um, basically just having officers in the schools is the only way we're going to build uh, back the, uh, the issues and stereotypes that are put out there about cops. The minute you walk into school, kids are like, oh yeah, I don't like the cop, but now as we see, especially here in Borden, um, the communication between cops and youth are now getting way better and in different schools that I go through. Um, kids are more interactive with cops. Project Peace, uh, going into the schools, we promote youth and gang violence. So us going into schools as youth, talking to them about the issues, it breaks down those barriers and having a cop there also helps the situation. Good. Now, uh, you just sat through a Crime Stoppers uh, presentation with the community youth officer, Crime Stoppers. And uh, what's your message about uh, being anonymous and reporting if the need be? Uh, basically, a lot of you guys need to know, um, it actually is anonymous. It's a non-profit organization. Just give in your call, let us know what your tip is. Um, you'll get a uh, ID number, a code number, tell you call back six to eight weeks, give a call back. If the person has been found charged or not before the courts, um, you can earn up to, I think, $1,000. You get a, another ID number, you go into any TD bank in Canada, um, give it to them, and you get your money. You don't have to show any ID or anything, so it's a good way to help stop the violence that's happening around the city. Well, thanks for doing your part. It says unity behind you there. And uh, you chose this to hold up, so uh, that's our t-shirt redesign contest. If you want to enter it and win up to 500 bucks, you can uh, enter that at uh, communitycave.com, C-A-V, community, C-A-V-E.com. And uh, that's what it's all about, unity. Thanks for all your work.